Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have another story time video, okay? And yes, I will be using two different cameras again this time because I actually kind of like the way the other one turned out. So uh, today I have a very true story, not a lot of context behind it. It's just a man speaking his truth and what he, what he thinks. It's actually kind of a crazy, like, you know, story for me personally. If anyone wants to click off, anytime you feel bored, feel free, I don't care. But if anybody would like to, you know, pay attention to what I have to say... Well, before I, I hope I don't die before I make the video. <laughs> I went down the wrong pipe, bro. All right, man, let's just get into it. Okay, so everybody understands that, you know, well, not everybody, maybe not everybody, but, you know, there, I, I had talked about my spirituality in one of my previous pre, uh, previous videos where I had actually had a dream about, you know, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant. I gotta be more articulate. I gotta move my lips a little bit more so it doesn't sound like mumble. I noticed that. I, I actually did notice that. In a lot of my videos previously, I, I mumble a lot. Like, I speak very quickly, allowing, you know, my my speech to be a little disoriented so it might not come off as clear as I'd like to I'm gonna try my best to move my mouth a little bit back to the point one day I woke up okay this is this all true story I'm not making any of it up it was on Kobe Bryant day I woke up I was uh, on vacation in Florida and where we were staying was actually like miles away from SpaceX okay right next to the SpaceX headquarters in Florida so I just wanted to go get my morning run in you know what I mean like I was actually running too I love the beach I love the beach so much you guys don't even know like I just enjoy the sun and going out and having a good time just you know, it's soaking it all in. Anyway, I actually, I woke up to this tiny little orb looking figure in the clouds. Okay, it's like a black orb that I had never seen before. Like any anything like it. And um, it was kind of crazy to me because I didn't know what I was looking at. Like it kept, it kept fading in and out. The technology that I was looking at, I couldn't, like, I was, like, losing my mind for a second. I'm like, is that the moon? Like, there's no way that's the moon. Like, what is, what is this thing that is literally going invisible and then fading back in? It was pretty dark. It was, like, it wasn't, like, the sun hadn't risen yet, and I had just wanted to get a video of it because there's no way I could get a clear picture because, like I said, too dark. Um, so what did I do? I, I got a, a video of it. I changed the frame rate to 24 FPS on my phone so that way I can like, you know, get the video itself and then, you know, s slow it down and look at the stopped images and there's lightning everywhere, like it was raining outside and, and the only way I could get this thing illuminated was by screenshotting it when there was lightning. I had slowed it down to the exact point where you know, lightning had struck, and I could see this thing floating in the sky. I don't know what it is, don't know where it came from. All I know is that it's a UFO because it's unidentified, and I'd never seen anything like it, and there are plenty of other, like, videos on the internet that, you know, kind of look exactly like it. Keep in mind, this thing is, it was literally right next to SpaceX. I think I've mentioned that before. Maybe, I don't know, I, I am now if I didn't before. When I wanted to do more research, like, behind what I found, I, I personally went back to the memory section on my phone. It's not that hard to go back to a specific day and look at what you'd captured on that day. That's what I did. I looked up 8-24 on my phone, and I went back to that day and saw nothing. Okay, well, I saw the, I saw the screenshots. That's also on Twitter, but I didn't see the video. What happened to the video? Why would I delete a video that is probably the rarest thing I've ever seen before? I don't know. There's no way. Why would I just delete just something that could be very rare in my eyes it, it's not it could it isn't could it, it is now if you know what spacex is and you know all the details behind that then you probably understand that the ceo of um you know spacex is actually elon musk okay and elon musk himself tweeted that he had found a video you know and it showed an image of a place i used to live you know he showed an image of niagara falls elon musk you know top three richest men on the planet and uh he probably has a lot of access to technology you know what i'm saying so my point is uh with this story is i the reason why i haven't posted the video is because i don't have the video and i think the video was actually erased from my phone i think this is somehow connected to elon musk i don't know how i don't know dude i, I call me crazy I didn't delete the video. I would not be surprised if Elon had access to my phone and just, you know, wanted it gone or something. Maybe maybe it wasn't him. Maybe the freaking government got, like, you know, access of my phone. Because I, I really wish you could have seen what I had captured. I should have posted the video itself. I really should. I don't know why I didn't post a video. I, I posted the screenshot, but not the video. I should have posted the video. Guys, when I say I can't, like, describe what I saw... Like, I can, but it's it's not something anybody would really understand. Like, it just sounds too crazy. Like, this thing was floating in the sky. There's no 
wings, propellers, anything. It's just a black orb that was fading in and out in this cloud of lightning. And I didn't understand how it was even flying or how it was floating in the first place. And there's, you know, a video that I found um, where people were talking about UFO technology and this this exact same thing that somebody else recorded or captured. It was they kept, the military themselves captured this video of the exact same thing that I'd seen and what they had seen in the video, like what I'm about to show you again. I, I showed you guys it before, but I'm going to show you the video again. Bounded by Florida, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico, the Bermuda Triangle is the epicenter for unexplained phenomena. And Puerto Rico's close proximity to this region may explain why it's a known hotbed for UFOs. Now, there have been countless UFO sightings over the years, but many experts consider this next piece of footage the gold standard. Take a look for yourself. It's just after dark on August 25th, 2013 in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. The crew of a United States Customs and Border Patrol plane is taking off for a routine mission when they notice a strange pinkish light approaching from the northwest. They turn on their thermal imaging camera to track the object, and this is what they see. Let's take a closer look. It appears to be a metallic sphere moving fairly quickly around the airport. Then it heads out over the ocean where it does something truly unexpected. Did you catch what happened? Let's zoom in. The object seems to splash down in the water before re-emerging seconds later. Even more bizarre, the object then splits into two separate craft. And people, there is no known Earth technology that can do that. After nearly four minutes, the object disappears from view. It's a conspiracy, right? UFOs aren't real. I'm, I gotta stop, <laughs> stop doing that. It's just water, by the way. It's, it's really just water. I have another crazy story to tell. This one isn't that, like, long. It's just, you know, a lot of people may be asking, like, where's the video? Like, you have the screenshot of a UFO that you found in Florida, like, two years ago on 8-24 when you first woke up and you saw this thing at 5.30 in the morning, it was 6 o'clock, whatever time it may have been, and then, you know, you don't, you don't share the video itself? Well, it's because I don't have it anymore. Like, I ha bro, I don't even know why I don't have it anymore. It's the thing, I never deleted it. So who who went through my phone? Who got access of information on my phone and just completely erased it? Was it the government? I don't know. Was it Elon? I don't know. But I know I didn't delete it. Like, why would I delete that? It's the rarest video I've ever had. But I do, okay, um, this, I, my next story that I'm going to tell, uh, I don't know when it's gonna go up. It's definitely a true story, but um, it's crazy. And I do actually have proof and evidence of what's happened to me. To give you an idea of what that video might be about, okay, is it's basically about, you know, drones flying over my house. And every time I got closer to my house, you know, the, the drone would actually fly away. It's like, it's, it's, it's almost like it knew I was right next to it or something. And I started recording it and it was just, I will show you all the videos when I can, but I, I will. You guys can think whatever you want. I promise, I promise you, I give you my word. I did not delete it. Okay, but why, why is it gone now? Like you can literally go back to your memories on your phone and look at a specific date and look at what you captured on that day and look at, you know, it's just not, it wasn't there. Why wouldn't it be there? Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.